I'm Roland Bewley. Let's get started. Tonguing well. When you play a brass instrument, we put a sound at the beginning of the tone that we call tonguing. We do it with our tongue. I use the syllable ta, but there's also toe and two. Any of those are good. Some people are going to like one better than the other. I'll use ta for all of this just because that's what I use, but any of those are fine. You can choose whichever one helps you to sound the best. So when we, when we tongue, we're making a T sound, a ta, 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 ta sound when we play. And the way we do that is generally your tongue is going to curve this way and go up and hit where your teeth and gum meet and push up against there. And when you pull it back, it's kind of like a suction cup off of a wall. It makes a pop. Well, we get a sound when you do that. And we add that sound to the beginning of the note. Uh, it helps with just making the note very definite when it starts. It also is a factor in dynamics and definitely in articulations where we tongue more notes like ta, 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 that type of thing. And so when you tongue, that's how it basically works. Now everybody's tongue is different and where that actually comes out for you is going to be different and that's way too much to get into in a video. But that general motion like that, this being the top side of your tongue, it's going to be that basic motion. Now say you're just learning to tongue and you've never tongued before or you're just trying to learn how to do it. The thing you want to get used to is keeping the air going while you tongue. Like when I'm talking to you now, I'm talking through the air. If I were to do that choppy, let's say I do a syllable, if I talk to you like this, I'm blowing it so the ball. Well, that just sounds stupid. So what we do when we talk and when we sing is we keep the air going and we talk through it. And so you want to think about that when you're playing, when you're tonguing, you're tonguing through the air. So, you know, lots of times you learn a whole note. We're going to play a note for four counts. And I'm just blowing a note for four counts. So when I tongue that, I'm going to start the beginning of the note with a tongue sound, a ta sound, and I'm going to keep the air going. I'm going to say ta four times through the note and keep the air going continuously while I do it. And the big trick with learning to do this well, if you're a more advanced player, is keeping the tone while you do that. And see, I kept blowing a whole note, but I sliced it into four notes with my tongue making a ta sound. And when you do that, your tongue is in and out of there instantly. If you tongue too slowly, you'll, you block the sound too long. You block the air too long and you get notes that don't start very well. I'll see if I can demonstrate that. So your tongue is blocking the air too long. So you've got that long to tongue. Doesn't matter what the rhythm is, whether it's a slow rhythm or a fast rhythm. Obviously, you have to play the rhythm, but you have that long to move your tongue when you do it. So when you're doing the tongue and moving it like that, the next, like I said, you want to keep the tone going and the hard part can be keeping the tone while you do that because your tongue has, one of the reasons your tongue has to move so quickly in and out is because it's got to do the job of making the ta sound and then going back to being part of your tone. And if you do that too slowly or inconsistently, then, you know, your long tones won't sound that great or, or your notes won't sound that great. Uh, that's why people do long tones is to get a nice sound and then when they start moving their tongue more and more they start to lose the quality of sound. So you have to learn to keep the, uh, that quality of sound you get from a long tone and move your, tone, your tongue in there cons in and out consistently so that you can keep the tone steady like your long tone and sound just as good on your fast notes as you do on your long sustained notes. Now the next factor people always wonder about is tonguing faster. So when you, when you tongue faster, it's really mostly an enunciation exercise. It's learning to say ta, whatever speed you want to go. So if I'm used to tonguing at this speed, ta, 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 and I want to go faster, ta, 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 that type of thing, I have to basically be able to say ta clearly and on a steady tone to go that fast. And that's an enunciation exercise, like saying something like a tongue twister, rubber baby buggy bumpers. If you want to learn to say that quickly, you've got to practice where you can enunciate that, you know, very crisply and clearly as fast as you want to go. 
So a lot of that type of tonguing you can actually practice without the horn. But you want to make sure you keep it a nice steady tone when you do that. Um, and then as, as you get faster with your tongue that way, um, you have to be careful of getting a tuh sound. Usually when people start tonguing faster, they start to switch from whatever vowel syllable they're using, ta, to, or tu, and they start to get a tuh. I mean, I've, I've never run anybody that didn't run into that at some point, including myself. And so if you, do, if you get a ta, you get this. Ta, 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 ta. And that ta starts to, to basically choke your tone and choke your tongue. It's a squeeze. I'm not sure why we squeeze when we say ta, but if you go ta, 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 see how it has a squeeze kind of sound? And so obviously that hurts your tone, but it also kind of locks your tongue up. And so if you're having trouble tonguing faster passages, like just ta 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 something like that, you listen for ta. Just try saying it out loud. Ta 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 If you hear a ta 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 in there, then that's why your tongue's locking up. You've got to keep it on a one of those round vowel sounds. Ta 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 to 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 keep it going. See, ta, 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 see, I can say that, and that's a good way to practice because sometimes when you're playing the horn, it, it's hard to tell that you're doing that. So those are some helpful things with tonguing um, to get a nice, good uh, articulation going at the beginning of the note and also for more fast tonguing passages, which you will run into.